drive this wing good so I've got several apps that have been changing such as this camera thing it's now transparent so I have to search for it and then my word they've changed I'm not happy with that either this is my program let me design it anyway uh, update on the news so no the judge has not issued the orders yet against the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. As uh, you uh, remember, these videos are a soap opera. They're a day-to-day -day update. So you've got to get yourself caught up on previous episodes. <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, I'm... Uh, my initial plans, once I get the Church's money, I uh, has gotten a snag, as I heard from last uh, yesterday's uh, news clip about uh, uh, Governor Cuomo. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to go back to uh, one of the other plans that I had designed to implement instead, because uh, it seems very clear America just will not allow help during this crisis. They're all fighting and arguing with each other and blaming others when they could be doing something themselves. And nobody wants to because everybody's more focused on how do they get money. Uh, and speaking about money, I've not yet received anything in regards to a stimulus. Nothing. So, uh, as far as I know, Trump again has refused to pay. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, I hope somebody somebody out there has gotten theirs. But, uh, not me. And I did the direct deposit. It was approved, it said. And the site is now down, they said. Until... Sunday, they said, on their site, they're purposely destroying America, and they're just fighting about it to the death. No, to the pain. <laughs> Princess Bride, if any of you have been watching that during your stay-at-home visit. Uh, so yeah, Utah governors, and yeah, we're going to open the national parks. I don't know why governors are involved with national parks anyway. Are they not national parks? Do they not belong to the federal government? But uh, I guess not. I guess the governor can do whatever he want with them. So why did he have to have Trump do the redesignation of Bears Ears? Couldn't he just uh, and said, no, we're now redesignating this for the state of Utah, and we're going to put the uranium mining company in there, and uh, Putin will get his uranium after all. You didn't know that was what it was for, right? Had nothing to do with oil and gas. No silver or gold. It was uranium. So sorry, Republicans. <laughs> You're attempt to uh, claim Uranium One scandal, which was a complete and utter failure, uh, was actually what you guys were doing all along. Hmm. Anyway, moving on. Uh, what did I tell you? The guy who murdered the Mormon couple, the young Mormon couple, uh, it, he was a rich man. If I was a rich man, because his neighborhood was rich. It was a, suburb, uh, a new suburban development. And uh, come to find out, he probably did his own landscaping to save himself some money. Because he owns a landscaping company. And that's what happened, is that the guy who murdered him, allegedly, he got the hell beat out of him by the cops. They're showing his booking photo. Oh, man, they did a number on him. You do not mess with a fellow Mormon unless it's Travis Wayne Goodsell, and then go ahead, beat the hell out of him. <laughs> it's okay. They didn't beat me up. 
but Officer Natalie Johansson had her hand over her gun, ready to blow me away. Uh, again, see, this is a soap opera. <laughs> you gotta keep up to date on the videos. Uh, but yeah, the guy tried to apply to work for his landscaping company, and I guess he didn't like being denied during coronavirus. <laughs> so he went to his house to murder him and got his wife as well. Uh, but yeah, that explains why he's filthy rich. It's because he owns his own business, which is not hard to do. If you find a marketplace, where you don't have much competition, all you need is Roger the Shrubber to train you. <laughs> yes, he named his company after, uh, talking about a different guy now, <laughs> the one I worked for uh, before I went to uh, the university uh, from my, my dual bachelor's with a minor, uh, but uh, uh, he Roger Stein uh, is the foremost expert on shrubbery uh, in Northwestern America. Him. Uh, and so, yeah, I got to go work for him uh, as a landscaper, and he taught me everything. We had all sorts of jobs lined up, and uh, uh, all the different types of stuff, and so when I moved to Utah, uh, my dad had a new suburban home, uh, needed uh, landscaping obviously, because uh, they re demand you have landscaping done within a certain time frame and, and that uh, you uh, uh, maintain your yard, rich yuppies. But uh, uh, yeah, I designed my dad's uh, sprinkler system based on my education with Roger Stein, Roger the Shrubber, and uh, uh, saved my dad thousands of dollars. Thanks a lot for betraying me, Dad, after all I did for him. Uh, but, uh, see, soap opera. Uh, <laughs> and so, yeah, if you're going Roger the Shrubber, that sounds familiar. Again, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Uh, I'm sure you could probably rent it on Amazon. I doubt they'll have it for free. Um, but, uh, uh, hopefully you can rent it somewhere. Uh, that's the sad part that we're going to go through, is that we will have to depend on these online streaming services for what we want to watch when we want to watch it. And they're not likely to allow that for too much longer. Uh, as they transition us into the new world order economy. So understand that. If you don't have a DVD copy with a DVD player, uh, you're going to be out of luck. But, uh, yeah, it's easy to own your own landscaping company. If you've got the money, you can get any job you want. But, uh, I, uh, yeah, I could have easily gone, done that, and but uh, uh, went and deciphered Paleo Hebrew instead, and then went on to go and decipher Egyptian picture glyphs, and then went on to discover that the Bible stories came from the Egyptian picture glyphs. So I didn't get become a landscaper. <laughs> I do have a home uh, computer app program. Uh, to design my own house and uh, have been fooling around with it a little bit trying to figure things out it's kind of complicated until you can finally figure out what you need to do in the order you need to do it but uh, yeah I did pursue landscape architect as well and interior design I was the only guy in that class at Rick's <laughs> And of course, all the women stayed away from me because I was the only guy in that class at Rick's. And the teacher thought, oh, I'm the lucky one. Yeah, well, no, not among Mormon women culture. Uh, if they recognize you as uh, someone who's just going to play the field 
and not get serious even though they don't know me. <laughs> women Mormon women demand a commitment before you even talk to them. <laughs> don't you talk to me unless you got a ring. And here's something I don't think the cops, or well, uh, cops know, but does ABC4 News Utah know? Let me show, share with you the title, and then see if you can catch it. Pig gives police the slip. Good morning, Utah, GMU. Yeah. So what's the the uh, it's discriminatory slang term for a police officer. Oink oink. So yeah, I thought that was amusing in a sarcastically mean kind of way. And yet police are giving pigs a chase. I'm assuming it's not an actual house call, but some charity thing. I'm guessing. I never bothered to watch it. I just saw the title and wondered if ABC4 News Utah realized what they were doing. <laughs> so that's the update on the news. I hope you guys are alive. Uh, as I've been pointing out, there is absolutely no reason at all to open anything in Utah. And if anything, we need to get everybody at home. None of this. Oh, you can choose. You have agency. You can do whatever you want, but stay home, stay safe. Um, you know, no. It, don't listen to them when they tell you to go back to work, to go back to the hair salon, which I understand is now booked three weeks in advance. Don't do it, guys. You're going to die. Not immediately. It's going to take some time. Don't do it. Someone you love may die if you build up an antibody. Don't do it. Don't become murderers for them. <coughs> and so, yeah, we're not slowing down. We're still rising. After all this time, we're still rising in Utah. And if Herbert's thinking, oh, it's perfect time to send everybody back to the streets to socialize. This is already known to go through the summer. But the summer will not stop it. And the guy who was given his presentation yesterday that got Trump to say, hey, why don't we get my, my loyalist to drink Drano and Lysol? just want you dead because our bodies are the carrier if we get exposed to sunlight if if it rises in temperature it doesn't matter we become the carriers our body temperature is normally 98 point whatever degrees normal temperature and we're still spreading it so don't listen to them when they try to tell you it's going to die. We become the carriers. They did not list that in their things. In his little chart thing that he had up. That if it's on a surface and the temperature is between 72 to 75 degrees, it will last for a certain period of time. That chart. We are the carriers. That's why they say six feet apart. Now it's going to cause a problem if the wind is going to blow in your direction. Or vice versa if you're the carrier. But uh, you know, don't fall for these lies that they're pushing. A vaccine is years away. Alright, so that's it. Uh, we still have a couple more hours before... Uh, and then today's report of yesterday um, and then uh, 45 minutes now 
until the clerk shuts down the docket, so I won't know if the judge had ordered or not. Uh, nothing was in my email either, so I, I'm keeping a close eye. Uh, I had contacted the um, credit collector that I was talking about, uh, trying to see if they'll be on their toes and ready to go, uh, even if on the weekend, if somebody can be available on the weekend. Uh, so we'll see.